Hello, I'm Simon Provan, the Artistic Director of Theatre on the Bay and directing the current production of Neil Simon's Barefoot in the Park. Well, first of all, it's just an all right, right out there comedy. Uh, we haven't uh, done a comedy like this, at least in the academic um, season since I've been here for the last couple of years. So we've done a dark comedy, but nothing that's just right out there make you bust your gut laughing. And I'm, I'm hoping that this is the show that, <laughs> that provides that. Uh, the show itself is about a young married couple going through what a lot of young married couples go through, their first big fight. <laughs> and, um, you know, you have, you have some married couples who get through it quite well and other married couples who uh, they think this is it, this is the end, that they should never ever fight during marriage. So, of course, that fighting, a lot of misunderstanding. You have the mother, who's also a mother-in-law, of course, to the husband. So you have the in-law thing going on and a very uh, eccentric man that gets added into the mix that the, that the daughter tries to hook mom up with. So it ends up being a, a very curious night for everybody involved. A lot of conflicts that lead to a lot of comedy, a lot of humor. So I, I think it's gonna just be a, a fun night of theater for anybody to come out and enjoy. Well, my name is Tony LaMalfa, and in this play I'll be playing Paul Bratter, a lawyer and husband to an eccentric but wonderful wife, newlyweds. He has a great, a good-natured relationship with his wife, but they're just stumbling along and figuring out how to do this. And he's a young man. In the play they even mention he's, he's 26 years old, and, and, and he's establishing himself as an adult with his wife. And I feel in some ways like Right now, as a 25-year-old teacher coming to this back to my home area, and I'm establishing myself as a young adult, and, and that connection is really important. And there are even scenes where he has to, he has to stand up for himself as a man, and, and in some ways I feel like I can relate to that, you know? Just figuring yourself out in this wild and crazy world. I'm Kate Sterling, and I play Corey Bradder. Corey and Paul have only been married for six days and she is just thrilled with being married and with being a wife and with getting her apartment set up and she's just completely and totally enamored by the beginning of this life, the beginning of this part of her life. And she just wants, she's totally in love with her husband and just wants to spend as much time as possible with him. That's her main drive in life at this point. I think that the audience will be able to relate to her, many people will be able to relate to her, just to that um, sense of excitement at the beginning of a relationship and um, almost like the naivety that you have when you're young and you think that a relationship is going to be perfect and you have such high lofty expectations and you just see this you know wonderful innocence about her and I think it's something that a lot of people have experienced and you wish that love could always be that way and have no cynicism whatsoever. My name is Julie Munster and I am Mrs. Banks. I'm Corey's mother. Mrs. Banks lives in New Jersey and she has a good relationship with Corey. They're close, but she does. She is a bit controlling, and um, she likes to drink. And I think a lot of mothers and daughters will be able to relate to her relationship with Corey because she's warm and nurturing one minute, and then kind of sarcastic the next. We haven't done anything this lighthearted in theater on the bay for a while so i think it'll be a treat if you can't come i understand you might have to wash your hair or paint your fingernails you mustn't think i'm hurt i won't be hurt if you don't come mm -hmm.